Welcome Modern Talkers, this is Modern Talk. And it's also in touch with Tommy. Uh, so that's, it's both things. Uh, it's a subsection of a series. <laughs> um, it sounded so like a, <laughs> a person uh, like teaching a kid's class. Like it's also, even though subsection is too big of a word probably, but <laughs> you know, and and interestingly, interestingly enough, it's a subsection of a series. <laughs> so an update, I think it's been like two weeks since I've done this. Um, and it's already hot in here, because uh, it's like the hottest time right now, for some reason, of the year. And uh, and it doesn't matter, because this will probably come out at, in fall in the earliest. But uh, yeah, it's the first week of August uh, in this present timeline. And, um, it's dummy hot, and we just started, and I'm already feeling, feeling the heat, uh, because I gotta turn on, turn off the lights, or, I turned off the lights, too, to make the, this lighting good, um, <clears throat> but the, also the, the AC, because, noise. I'm sore, because I, uh, I had kickball last night, I always do this after kickball, um, and we lost twice. Uh, we played two games every week and we lost both. And I was in the outfield, which I feel like is such a... Um, I made a lot of plays, good plays, but I feel like anybody could play the outfield. Like, just don't let it go over your head, and that's great. Um, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not the captain. So... So un unbelievably not something that anyone cares about. Um, so I've been, like, this whole summer pretty much, I've been house hopping. And, um, but I'm getting paid for it. Uh, when I first got here a year ago, over a year ago now, um, I was house hopping out of the goodwill of the people that I was staying at. But now I'm house hopping, like I'm house sitting for people. For weeks at a time so it's been two two families both went out of town twice which is crazy now that I think about it I didn't even like really consider that but like being able to go out of town twice is pretty good like you're probably doing okay um, well there's a plane about to crash into me it sounds like I don't know if you could hear that <laughs> but if this is the last podcast you know this is the last podcast and you gotta accept what is um, so you still have been house hopping and it's been it's been nice because I get to you know it's like kind of a vacation for me but a vacation gets tiring after a while like living out of a suitcase or the one house I would just always go back to to where I live um, well where I used to live before I house hopped all summer um, <clears throat> so I've only been, like, slept in my room, um, less than a week since, like, June-ish, uh, like, total week. Um, and of course the, the dump truck is outside, and I don't know if you could hear that, but I always forget that they do this every, every week. <laughs> So I have to do this, I don't have to do it before, but I like to do it beforehand um, to get it get it going before. And then afterwards I'm tired, like from filming the other guy. Um, so I like to get this out of the way. Not out of the way, that doesn't sound, um, it sounds like I wanna get this over with, but I don't. I wanna do this and get it out and for you guys to hopefully get something out of this. You know, I don't even know what you guys want out of this, but, um, because I've been, I've been, uh, re-listening to, uh, Cashing In, um, a lot, exclusively, podcast-wise, um, 
and com- partly because I've been caught up on a lot of my other podcasts, and I don't like having to like kind of portion them out and be like, okay, I should probably only listen to this for a little bit, and then I'll go to the other one, or you know. Um, I want to listen to podcasts when I want to listen to podcasts, you know? Unpopular opinion. <clears throat> but that's what podcasts are for. They're for it to stop and go. But this one, this one's harder because it's a video. But it'll also be just audio, too, if people still prefer that. Because nothing's really happening. <laughs> uh, you get to see my facial expressions. And I'll, like, put pictures up if it's uh, pertinent. Jeepers creepers, <laughs> body slamming each other out there, the Transformers are. Um, my goodness. Uh, so I've been listening exclusively cashing in, and that's such a comfort show for me, which is weird because it's a podcast, but uh, it's it's just so good. I'm listening to the ones that, I'm, that I didn't listen to a lot. Like, I started in 2017. But I've only listened to those ones up until now, like probably once, because I listened to them when they first came out and then that was it. Um, But I've listened to old ones like literally five times, probably more. It's weird, like, I wonder if that's gonna become a thing more, because there's comfort shows uh, that people will leave on and stuff, but that'll probably be a thing, comfort podcast shows. like when you're cleaning or something and and you kind of want to have something on in the background but not too, you know, important because you like kind of know what happens but you want to hear it again. I just, yeah, I don't, I don't laugh as much as I probably did the first time because I mostly know the beats and, um, and it's also like an education in my opinion of comedy because it's a it's a comedy podcast but it's also conversational and I kind of take note of the comedy beats that happen and like oh that's a good angle and oh that's a good rhythm and stuff like that and like TJ does a lot of great wordplay um which is hard to do um you kind of just need to practice and have a good vocabulary and and I feel like I have a good vocabulary and I can do that stuff but on the fly like that is so impressive that he just has like a catalog like car types and then you know (laughs) caterpillar (laughs) um, attributes and then he does like um, see I can't even do it like a Tahoe (laughs) I, I, I would have to write it like it takes me like five minutes to come up with something like that like a Tahoe centipede I don't know that's really bad but uh, and it's out of context because there's no context for it but I just try to think of something Um, so yeah comfort comfort podcast maybe one day I'll be a comfort comfort podcast with someone people say that they like listening to it as they fall asleep which is little bit of a slight but (laughs) uh (laughs) that's okay um so i guess it is already a comfort show in some ways that way so that's cool i already did it and um and now i could quit uh but yeah so at this this house that i'm at now it has a pool it's like so it's just like the perfect awesome house i love it it's it's more house than I would need if I was like a, if I was like a single just guy, because I don't use two of the rooms at all, because it's the the owner's room and then there's like a spare room, um, other than mine, mine, uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's a nice kitchen and really nice living room set up and a pool. That's all you need. Like that's just the dream and a dog that's super nice sweet and easy uh he has like a big thing of food and it just falls down and he eats whenever he wants and then he stops when he's full like some dogs just don't do that they just like eat until they're fat as crap and then they're too tired to eat more um or a cat uh 
the cat that I live with normally does that. <laughs> um, but she's fat, even though we control her food. So that's probably our fault, I guess. Um, but... <laughs> And then he has a big bowl of water that you have to fill up, like, every two days or something. Uh, and then he has a doggy door, so he just goes out, and then it's so easy. It's so easy. So I really, I'm really enjoying that. And they left, um, they have HelloFresh. Do you know what that is? It's fresh ingredient uh, delivery systems where you get everything. It's all portioned out for you. You just need to open it or cut it up or whatever and make it. And I love those. I used to do that with Pete, Ben, back in college. And uh, I really liked it because I was like cooking for other people and it was just like a fun reason to get together even though we were together a ton. <laughs> it was mostly me doing all the cooking, which was fine. But, um, but I did it just two days ago or something. And uh, it was just burgers, but it was like really good it was like a fire cracker or burger or something. Uh, it had some sort of white sauce with sour cream and ranch and uh, hot sauce. And then there was a hot sauce rub on it. And uh, um, and then the sauce kind of cooled down the heat, but the heat was still tangy and good. And, and um, onion straws, onion thingies. The crunchy onion things? What is that called? I think that's... Yeah. We'll go with that. Um, and it was really... I can never cook burgers for some reason. They always come out like burnt on the bottom and then cold inside. And I... You know, people will be like, dude, just you have to mess with the temperatures. And like, I have. I don't know what happened. I've messed with it. I've made so... Like at least 15 burgers in my life. And then I just gave up because I was like, I guess I just don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. And so I forgot that. And then I, as I was making these, I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna ruin these because I don't know how to cook them. And I just followed the directions like I did with the other ones, but this one, these ones work, they were perfect. And, uh, and so that made me happy. And they were so good. I was really happy with it. And then, um, I wanted to have, like, the best, um, you know, experience eating it, which I think is something that we, we do a lot now, is, like, we put on YouTube, and I've heard people even watch videos of people eating the same thing that they're eating, because it's, like, a visual thing and a taste thing at the same time, um, but I, I guess you could just put a mirror up and just watch yourself eat it if you want. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's like a thing that everyone needs to be watching something while you're eating. And I've kind of got into that too. And so I put on Lifeline, which is a new podcast that I love um, with uh, Chris D'Elia and Matt D'Elia uh, and their brothers obviously, Dalia, uh, but people call in and they give advice and it's funny and potent sometimes. Uh, and I really like their dynamic, so I put that on, it felt like the right time. And then I sat out by the pool just to have like the pool vibes. And it was, like I said, it was so hot and it was so sunny, I could like barely open my eyes and my eyes were watering and I could barely see the screen and I was focusing on being hot and not being able to see and not fully, fully focusing on the food. So I think the lesson there is don't overstimulate. Um, and this is actually funny because I'm thinking about uh, last night I got ice cream. Um, all I talk about is food, um, <laughs> which is insane. Uh, yeah, last night I got ice cream after kickball, which I always want to do but I never did so I'm glad I finally did it because it was the last uh, regular season game and the playoffs is next week and everyone makes the playoffs so it really doesn't matter what our I mean it matters because we play better people if we're not as good um, I'm guessing I don't know I've never done it before but um, 
well, I feel like I've said nothing so far, and it's been, you know, I don't even know how long. But, uh, <laughs> but I got ice cream last night, and um, uh, one of the people I was with said, oh, yeah, the fudge is too much in here, because she got, like, a, a couple different things. We went to the Cold Stone, uh, so they, like, just put a million things in there. But I don't. I only put two things in. Because uh, after that, it's like, whoa, I can't even, I don't even know what I'm tasting. So, um, she's like, yeah, you, that's what I, that's what, why I didn't get that, the brownie. And, um, and I was like, yeah, it's kind of like burgers in that way. You don't want to put like too much stuff on it so that like you can't taste anything. It's like nice and fun, but it's not really the ultimate tasting like stuff gets lost and then it's like why is it in there then just pick the best stuff that go well together and then that's it and I don't remember oh because over simulating so so if I were to do that again I would do it probably inside and then watch something maybe but um I think it might have even been more enjoyable just to eat and focus on the food um because I don't know if it is better to watch. It, I think it's better with stuff that you could just, like, munch on, like chips. But, like, an actual meal like that, I think it's better to just, like, sit in silence and enjoy it. Um, which just <laughs> sounds so sad. Uh, I guess it's better to be talking with someone. But you know me, dude. I'm all, I'm all alone all the time. Uh, so, <laughs> that's, those are my options. Um... Man, I found my first, like, full gray hair the other day, and it made me real sad. Uh, I pulled it out, which I don't, I think you're not supposed to do or something, but, um, because I couldn't, like, believe it. I was like, what, is that the lighting? What's going on? And I pulled it, and it's, like, light brown on the bottom, and then, like, fully gray, uh, everywhere else. And I was like... Am I turning gray at 25? Or is it just a freak thing? And then I found one on my... Right here. But I've had one there a couple times. So I don't know if that's a coincidence. Or that's just where like one... And it goes like super long. Um, so I don't know if those were two coincidences. Or I should freak out and maybe go bald. Or start dyeing my hair uh but I don't want to do that I always thought that I would go gracefully into gray hair but then I'm thinking I always thought that I'd like be married or at least have a girlfriend by that point like a serious girlfriend <laughs> and now that I I'm single and I have to eventually hopefully court someone then I n would like to not be gray haired because people will be like well he's almost dead so I don't want to marry him um <laughs> uh yeah so that made me sad but right now I don't feel too bad about it um mainly because I haven't seen any more gray hairs but um I hope there's none to see uh but even then I think like th that's what I was gonna say is I it should you should just like be like, yeah, dude, I'm I'm salt and pepper, you know, I'm I'm a silver fox. Uh, but yeah, not at 25. I don't. <laughs> that would be a bummer. Uh, I always think about um. There's a guy who was like 30, um. On uh, American Idol. I'll have to fact check this, but uh, he's like, yeah, I went. I started going gray, like, really young, like, 22 or something crazy, and, um, and so I just, you know, you can't, what are you gonna do? I'm gray now, and he probably just looked older, but now he probably looks the same age. Like, that's the thing, too, with, um, I always forget his name, dude, Steve Martin. Um, he's had gray hair since, like, the 70s, and now he is 70 <laughs> and uh and he looks like very similarly so i think he might he might have looked older then but now he looks like great 
you know? Um, so, you know, maybe that's my path and you can't, uh, you can't mess with your path. Uh, fate is fate and things happen. Maybe for a reason, even if you believe in that kind of hippie stuff. <sighs> that's not really hippie. That's more Christian. I think probably, um, but it's probably hippie too. Just the, the, it depends on the way you say it. Like, you know, everything happens for a reason. That's Christian, but if you're like, bro, dude, like, everything happens for a reason. Ah! That's probably more hippie. <laughs> See, that's a good time to watch the podcast. Um, probably. <laughs> so if you're just listening to this, go check it out. Um, you know, however long in this is to the podcast. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so I wrote this down actually before last podcast, but I forgot to talk about it. Um, <laughs> I, this was like my big crying phase, as you'll recall. <laughs> um, the blue period as as, uh, cashing in would, would deem it. I cried, um, during the movie Hustle. If you're familiar with it, it's the new Adam Sandler movie on Netflix. Came out in 2022. At one point in the movie, no spoilers, but at one point in the movie, he breaks his phone and his wife comes over to hug to hug him. And that's all it takes for me to cry. <laughs> because <laughs> it's so sad. Um, and then Pete didn't understand something in the movie and he asked me and so and <laughs> I'm crying at this point and when he asked me I had to look at him because I'm not a psychopath and I started to explain what I thought it was and um and there's just a tear running down my left cheek and and he didn't say anything but it was like awkward and of course he had to say something then like if it was two minutes later it would have been dried or I would have wiped it off by then but um but that's all I want I just want I want Queen Latifah to come over and hug me when I'm mad. That's, that's like, in a microcosm of relationships, like, that's all I want. Like, just to comfort me and be there for me. Um, cause I feel like I do that for other people. Um, but for some reason I just don't feel like it happens enough for me. And selfish, but, you know, uh, I feel like I've been unselfish a lot. Um, and not to say that I'm perfect or by any means or anything in relationships or anything, but, um, I feel like I haven't got, gotten reciprocated. And I think that's probably a common thing, especially with girls, but, which is ironic cause you know, I'm a guy. So as far as we know, okay, still a guy, but cries all the time. Um, Dude, maybe I am a girl, I don't know. This is the trans episode. <sighs> so, something in cashing in, um, I think about this all the time, um, and they have, they have like different segments in cashing in, and, uh, and one of the segments is, you know, where were you, where they talk about where they were, or <laughs> they have a, uh, one called What Hurts, you know, they talk about what hurts on them, which I kind of did. I didn't even realize. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, softball or kickball. I always, it's like interchangeable to me. Um, so that was what hurts and where were you in the same one. So that's funny. Uh, <laughs> what else do they have? Um, tickling the Oracle. Um, <laughs> I don't even really know what that one is. Uh, and then... One is Tiny Opinions, where they have uh, very strong opinions about minuscule things. Uh, and so, so stuff like that. So one of them is Practical Living in the Modern Age. Uh, so that's like practical advice for people living now. And uh, so I have one for you guys right now. <laughs> so when you go to pick up food, this was more uh, prevalent during the pandemic 
and I wish I told you guys then, and I thought about it all the time. I was like, oh, I should do this on my podcast, or I should at least send it in to cashing in for them to talk about it. Um, but uh, so when when you pick up food, because there was takeout all the time during the pandemic, and you know monkeypox, <laughs> by the time you listen to this, we might be back fully into a pandemic. <laughs> oh, crying. Um, <laughs> so when you go to pick up food, be like, hey, I did an online order, or I called in, and uh, I might be a little early, so no rush. You know, that's a great thing, because they're always like, oh, yeah, what, what's your name again? Okay, yeah, well, we're, we're, we're working on that. Um, so even if you're not even a little bit early, if you're, like, on time, just be like, I'm a little bit early, so no rush, but um, my name's Tommy, it's an online order. And, you know, it gives them... It gives them time to relax, be like, oh, thank you, sir. Like, we'll get it as soon as possible. Because you're not going to make them do it faster by being mean. Like, you'll just get wet food because people spit in it. That's that's all that's going to happen. Uh, even though I, I truly think people don't do that. And I know people do that, but... Like, imagine actually doing that to someone. Like, I think a lot of people won't do that. A lot of most 90 upwards of 90% of people would never do that so I I, I don't get why people I, I think it's mostly a joke um, but but people say that a lot and I'm like I really don't think that's the case that would be like imagine especially post pandemic or mid pandemic depending on when you listen to this if monkey pops becomes crazy um, <laughs> I've been uh, I've been eating a lot of Chinese food lately, uh, and mostly for the fortune cookies. Uh, I need a lot of wisdom. Um, <laughs> uh, I mostly just I throw the food away and I just look at what uh, what might be in my in my recent future. Um, <laughs> I need guidance what's gonna happen what should I be prepared for um, that's the kind of stuff that you have to you have to do to survive post a breakup bro um, I'm in therapy I did it I talked about it I don't know if I talked about it on here but I talked about it a lot and I was like I just need to figure it out do a find a therapist and I found one through a friend his girlfriend does it and so it wasn't even like a arduous experience and she's really nice and I never thought I wanted a and I don't really still want <laughs> a female therapist but um, but that's what came to me and so I'm rolling with it and then if it you know if it's it's good but uh, if something happens where it's like I just I can't do it um, you know I'll have to break up with her <laughs> Um, but you know me, I'm not a quitter, so I'll probably just do it until she moves or she's like, hey, I can't do this anymore. Um, no, but I might, you know, th there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with her now. I don't know if she'll listen to this, but, um, she listened to one of my podcasts, which was really nice. Uh, yeah, I like her. Um. And it's helping, I think it's helping a lot. And, uh, I don't know if I should talk about this, but I had, um, I do, are you familiar with the poop map app? Uh, every time I poop, I drop a pin and then talk about how it went and how my life's going. Um, a lot of times I don't talk about the actual experience of pooing <laughs> but uh, I just like jot down what's going on in my day or if it's like a public restroom I'm like oh man like the TP here is I wouldn't wipe my butt with it you know what I'm saying and uh, <laughs> um, it's you know it's not clean I had to use toilet paper to clean the toilet or the, the rim or whatever um, and, and uh extreme circumstances 
or like it's so clean in here they you could really really tell they pay attention to stuff uh so that's the kind of stuff um i talk about uh sometimes but a lot of times i'm just like at work you know at the office or whatever um you know about to get this thing done blah 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 uh i also got this later that'll be fun i'm looking forward to that or like feeling sad today um really slow moving stuff like that and so i haven't been doing that as much i think because of therapy so i'm just like saying like the poo was smooth (laughs) or whatever (laughs) um uh so that was my therapy i think for a while and then um and now i have real therapy which is good and it's only um you know it's more expensive but you know you can't poop map up everything forever uh unless you do and then that works for you if it works for you it works for you but i wasn't as happy as i am now and what really set me off which is funny because it wasn't therapy but it cost almost as much. I went to the movies, <laughs> but the last movie I saw that like set me off well. <coughs> Thank you. I hope you blessed me. We're not friends unless you blessed me. I don't want to. I don't know why. I feel like that made me hotter. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, the last movie I saw that set me off right was um, Black Phone, and it's a thriller movie, and it's everything you want a thriller movie to be. And I knew nothing about it going in. I knew Ethan Hawke, I think is his name, was the like bad guy, and that was all I knew. And then I saw the poster. Uh, and it was just so good and so well done, well written, well executed, well acted. And that just like freaking like pumped me up and lifted me up. And ever since then, I've just been feeling really good. And before that, I like literally going to the movies, I didn't feel good. Um, and after I felt like, like I said, I felt like I was floating a little bit. And, um, and I don't know exactly what that is, but, you know, there's movies that just do that. They move you. They move you, man. Like, it's, you know, that's what's beautiful about entertainment in general, but specifically movies. They, they could really you know, light a fire under you. And I've felt really good since then. It's been like three days or something. And I just feel good. Hey guys, I know this is probably jarring. I'm at the office right now, Um, but it got cut off at the end, inexplicably. Uh, I, right after this this part that you just saw, I started talking about uh, breakup stuff and I think it was too much. And um, I think through technical difficulties, uh, I was being told not to include that part (laughs) Um, because I did it twice. And then on the third time, I still wasn't getting the message. So it just did it through audio failings. Um, But I thought I lost the whole thing, Uh, like none of it recorded. So I went like this. No! But uh, it, most of it got recorded somehow, thankfully. So, you know, it was some divine something. Uh, but all I basically said after the breakup stuff that isn't important apparently, um, and I don't even remember what I said, but um, like and subscribe on YouTube. Since I'm on YouTube now, um, you know, that would help a lot and it'd make me feel good. Um, I'm not doing it for you, but I am doing it for you, um, but I'm doing it for me too. Uh, you know, it's that weird balance thing. And I don't want to make this super long, but I guess I can because this one was shorter shorter anyway. But, um, yeah, so activate that algorithm. Um, and watch my movie. I'm just going to promote other stuff. Watch my movie. It's really good. I love it.
um, and Anthony's in it, who was on the podcast. Um, so you should definitely watch it if you haven't yet. Um, and then if you don't want to, you know, get real into it, you could just watch the bonus features, which is fun. It's like just outtakes and stuff. And then rate and review on Apple Podcasts as well. Um, you know, that's a, that has an algorithm too. And um, more importantly, comment on everything or anything. Um, I want to hear what you like, what I can improve on, um, what you related to, and then make friends in the comments. You know, comment back to someone's comment. Hey, I love you, or you know, something like that. Um, <laughs> uh, no, but uh, yeah, like I related that to, um, and then add to what they said. Um, that's how you become friends. And then we got to stick together because there's not a lot of us, but we want to get more of us. So tell a friend uh, after you make a friend in the comment. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a, uh, my voice is a little um, nugged up. It's, uh, <laughs> I might feel like my throat is thick because I've been uh, slurping on that nog um, at the office here. Uh, I don't even know if I ever explain my office. I will one day, um, but I'm doing good. This is uh, f at least 15 weeks into the future. Um, so my eyes are a little puffy. It's a little, uh, it's a little late. You usually get morning, Tommy. Uh, it's 9-11 on a Saturday, because I grind for you guys, um, and I love it. Um, so if you don't like doing all that public forum kind of comment for whatever reason, just feel free to DM me, I'm accessible. Um, and then that's how we could keep in touch. So keep in touch with me. Uh, say it with me. Keep in touch. Okay. Uh, I hope this made you think. Daddy Warbucks. Probably shit like this. Is this good for you? Cause it's good for me. Ouch, I uh, uh, did not know that uh, wild stuff.